Hi everybody, this is The Lost Boy with another repair video, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell if you'd like to see new videos when they come out. So here we have an Xbox One controller with a heck of a lot of thumbstick drift. As you can see, every time I tilt the view up and remove my thumb, it immediately tilts back down to my feet. This problem actually started quite a while ago, but it's gotten a lot worse. Also recently another problem popped up with the D-pad. As you can see here, this is how Xbox controllers are supposed to behave. Press once, move once. Press and hold. And after a small delay, it starts moving down rapidly. You can see with the white Xbox One S controller, this is not happening. As soon as you press up or down on the thumbstick or the D-pad, it starts moving really, really quickly, which is not correct. For this repair, you'll need a couple tools. Ideally, you'll have a small to extra small set of Torx security bits. A lot of people don't have that, so an alternative is just extra small flathead screwdrivers. That's what I used in this case. It's also apparently possible to remove the clipped on sides with your fingernails, but I don't recommend this. A prying tool is much preferable. First thing you'll have to do is remove the screw that's hidden underneath the sticker in the battery compartment, and then the sides need to be carefully unclipped. This is a little tricky, and the first time I tried it, I actually busted one of the clips, which is not a big deal, but you want to do your best to avoid that if you can. Next, you can remove the four screws from the four corners of the controller. and the whole thing just opens up. I find it helpful to secure the motors with either a piece of tape or with some elastic bands so they're not falling out and possibly breaking off of the circuit board. Just a side note, if you keep the back on, you can actually test the controller while you're in the middle of this. Funny enough, I tested my controller right after I took it apart, and for some reason, the D-pad had fixed itself completely. The problem with the fast scrolling had disappeared completely for some reason. At this point, you want to look for any debris or pieces of hair or dust or anything like that, and remove anything you possibly can with, I'm using tweezers here, another option would be compressed air. Next step is to get a Q-tip and some 99% isopropyl alcohol and just get as close as you can in all the crevices to clean out anything you've missed. Now at this point, I tested my controller again, and there was still a tiny little bit of drift. Looking up some other information online, 
I found a person who said the thumbsticks themselves can actually be adjusted inside the controller. To do this, you need to remove the rear PCB, as you see here. As it turns out, the person with that information must have been using an old Xbox One controller. This is a new Xbox One S controller, and the thumbsticks on this model do not adjust. There's the base of the thumbstick there. And the black dot in that green end piece is what was supposed to be turnable. Turned out not to be. In fact, it seemed like I was going to break it if I tried any harder. So just be aware that doesn't work for the Xbox One S controllers. At this point, it's time to reassemble. Two extra small screws fasten the rear PCB. Now, if you haven't already, you can remove the elastic bands or the tape that you've used to hold down the vibration motors. Replace the thumbstick caps. And the front goes on. Flip the whole thing over. Make sure the two battery terminals are inside the compartment and press those triggers to make everything fit together well. And at this point, you just fasten the five screws back in place. And you can go ahead and clip the sides back on. Pop some batteries in and test it out. Now, as you can see, the D-pad is working exactly how it's supposed to again. One click means one movement and holding it down after a small pause, it scrolls. Now here, as you can see, I actually haven't completely fixed the drift. After several seconds, it slowly begins to move down. Doesn't happen every time, as you can see here, it's not happening. However, it'll come back in a minute. I debated whether or not to post this video because I don't like posting failed repairs. However, this controller's gone from mostly unusable to pretty much completely usable. The drift is very slight, and it only happens after a few seconds. So to fix this completely, we'll need to resolder a new thumbstick into the controller. So I'll be ordering one of those soon, and maybe we'll do another video where I show that. Well, that's it for this repair. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. If you're still with me, thanks again for watching. Your views and support are much appreciated. Always remember your happy thought, and I'll see you next time.